Uh, All right, well, ladies and gentlemen. I'm afraid crush this chair. <laughs> We're fresh, aren't we? We're fresh back. on fresh on set, aren't yeah, we? Here we are, eh? fresh on set. Yeah. <laughs> the report from Tiger Mountain once again up here in uh, undisclosed location in front mm. of the Grand Chess Board. Where are we? <laughs> Where are we mm. indeed? People always ask that. People always ask. <laughs> have a bit of a thing with all these videos. Really. Where is that exactly? Undisclosed location. I, it's, David will kill me if I reveal the location, so I can't tell That you. would just be the beginning. So we're going to talk about, um, I guess, the ongoing, whatever the hell it is. <laughs> the topic of the, of the year. Of the year. <laughs> of the decade. Stick around, the report from Tiger Mountain. <laughs> Here we are, we've got a dog, we've got everything we need. Uh -huh. So uh, here we are for uh, one of our, another one of our little chats, David. So yes. we've been through another lockdown, you know? What, what do you think Fancy of that, that. Yes. Who could have predicted that? And then, that was, what a surprise. I know. I mean, I, it caught me off guard. <laughs> I never expected it. Did you expect it? Well, actually, I mean, if anyone Did saw, you? Are you telepathic? Have you got you know, special powers or something? I think you might have. I didn't though. see it coming. You did see oh, it coming. Oh, no, actually, no, I did. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? Yeah. What a surprise. Yes. Gosh. David saw it coming totally and, um, you know, there Sorry. it is. Sorry. Wish I was wrong. I know. I really I know. do. So you saw it coming and uh, then it happened. Oh, there'll you know? be more too. Guess what, people? There'll be more. Yeah. And every time, oh, there'll be more. Of course there will. Every single time, they'll sneak in some other little bit of bullshit. Yeah. Okay? Every time. it's Come on, this thing is a psychological operation and it's but how about... how long is it going to go for? If we let it, mm -hmm. it'll go for fucking ever. You mean okay? for 10 or 20 years? Oh, absolutely. Really? Absolutely. They will fuck us forever if we really? let them, okay? They've yeah. got us over a barrel, yep. and they're plunging us pretty hard right <laughs> With now, the if you don't mind, ass. Governor. Yeah, okay? yeah right. So we are getting ass fucked. This will go. I mean, look, I've seen their, you know, their documents where they talk about this thing going to 2030 or whatever. Yeah. As, as to whether that's true or not, of course, I have no idea. I'm not, I'm not in so the cabal. As far cabal, as you're concerned. You know, but... Well, I can't see an end point. Unless and the vaccine doesn't it. seem to like free people, you know what I mean? Because it's like... Golly gosh! <laughs> what a surprise! Who could have seen that coming? You. Oh, sorry, yes. Um, There's a real yeah, problem. It was pretty obvious, you wasn't gotta, it? You're going to see a very Snap smug... You're going to see a very smug David Russell. Uh, no, he, I wish I was wrong. Actually, every time really he was right. I wish I was wrong. But yeah, yeah, but you're always fucking right, you know. Sorry. <laughs> It's actually really, at this point, it's incredibly predictable to a it degree. Is. I mean, I don't have all the inside info. In fact, I've got no inside info. Like, I don't know what happened you know? in India, whether there was something real there or not. But like, um, I have, I have one word there. to say about India. Mm -hmm. Wuhan. Yeah. That's my word. Okay. In other like, words, it was a fake. Well, come on. We all saw this footage, all this footage of people falling over in the streets and people walking over dead bodies yeah. and massive trucks spraying yeah. plumes of disinfectant everywhere, blah, blah, blah. It was all fake. Yes. It was all clearly fake. What happened in Wuhan now, was fake, yep. Did yep. you see dead bodies in the street in Melbourne? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. No, of course you didn't. So you're somebody yeah. who believes the actual virus doesn't exist. Is that correct? I. This is my position, okay? And I, I, and I freely admit I could be wrong, mm -hmm. okay? Of course, of course I could be wrong. Um, but my position is I don't see any compelling evidence for a new and dangerous pathogen. What I see is what I would call a Clayton's pandemic. Yep. You know, a pandemic you have when you're not having a pandemic. Yes. Okay, the Clayton's <laughs> pandemic is what we're living through. So isn't okay? it interesting, though, the way, you know, then... If what I think they did, okay, and I could be wrong, there could have been some, some little bug get mm. out in somewhere here or there. Of course, who knows? I don't know. But what I, you know, what I am seeing is that they've taken, and this is deliberate and this is planned, and this is, I think they've been working on this for a long time, they've taken your, your seasonal and your yearly and your perfectly normal... Yep. Flu and, and weaponized cold, it. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, infections and, yeah. and illnesses and, and sometimes deaths. Yeah, yep. And they've taken them and they've done this, they've put them here and they've given them a new scary name. Yep, yep, yep. Okay? I could be wrong. Now, my, no my view of the situation is, is that it, it's probably something like H1N1 or SARS in the sense that it is something slightly more uh, aggressive than the flu. But as we saw that, like, for example, H1N1 in Australia killed something like 20,000 people. And we never locked down for that. You probably didn't even know it was in the community. I didn't. And it killed 20,000 people. And uh, we didn't lock down. And how many did COVID kill in Australia? 1,000. And that's Less. according to... Less. Exactly. And that's according Less. to official figures. Yeah. So in other Which words, I don't believe. So anyway. there you go. But yeah. this is what I think we're faced with. So you, you yeah. think it's basically the seasonal flu. I that's do. It's been weaponised uh, yes. through hysteria. Yes. And, and I do also think... I think it's... 
in a way, it's perfectly valid to discuss these things and have differences of, of opinion. Of course it is. And I can respect that you have the opinion you have. I think, it, I think they would need But I don't something. think it's a thing to argue about. Yeah, yeah. Because I think that's part of the it's show. It's window dressing. You know, yeah. it's, 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 part of the show is you're meant to argue about these details. Is it real? Is it not real? Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. As soon as you argue that, you're off and on down some rabbit hole. Yeah. And you've lost what I think is the primary uh, important factor in, yep. in this, which is totalitarianism. Yeah, absolutely. That's the factor, okay? And I did want to bring up something to you, because yeah. there's been there's been a lot more recent talk. I mean, when this first came out, I, I said, well, it's definitely come out of the lab. If there's something real, it's snuck come out of the lab as a kind of bioweapon, right? Yeah. And of course, that was a conspiracy theory. But sure. now, that seems to be mainstream, that it's leaked out of Wuhan lab. They say by accident. Well, now but see, isn't this weird, though? It's that... a useful conspiracy theory this week. Yes, it is. You see? And it wasn't in the past. You know? Yes. I, to me, I could be wrong. But that looks like a distraction, and also that looks like this typical uh, intelligence Blame agency game. ploy. But that as well. But also this this typical ploy that validates the fact that there is a real contagion that's dangerous, and there is a real pandemic. So this is so that. I would argue mm -hmm. that I'm not seeing any evidence mm -hmm. really on the ground. Forget about the media because they lie about because everything. Because if, that's if their it job. came out the of the ground, lab, no evidence. And that again proves that there's something dangerous. You know what I mean? Of like course. When, when it's, you know what I mean? So yeah. this is, and also too, I mean, obviously behind this is the backdrop is the idea of war with China. Okay. Now, obviously, we've reached a point where the elite um, seem to be exposed. You know, with this idea of the Great yes. Reset that they are proposing the globalists. They have made China. themselves very obvious. And then there's they? the, in, yes. in, in opposition to that is what's called the Great Awakening, which is where people are kind of like, you know, see the power of the elite and, and they wish to expose them, etc. Yes. You know. Because I'm cynical, mm -hmm. I think that they've got a hand in both of those Of camps. course they have. Yeah. You know? and, and of course they have. And I yeah. think, I think, of course, if you want to be rational, you've got to be careful about all the information that's coming from yeah. all directions because some of it, even the stuff that's aimed at you personally yeah. and emotionally, yeah. mm -hmm. will be false. Some of it, And of it will be directed well, to like manipulate Q. you. You know, Q, you know? I, I was kind of rather fond of Q and it seemed like... Um, that seemed like a conspiracy that, you know, gee, oh, it's exciting, isn't it? Like that there's this secret kind of... Uh, like anti-cabal cabal that was at work. It was and very I, I always well liked packaged. that idea. It was very and then, well packaged. With Trump yeah. being kicked out and everything, and of course it still continues as, oh no, but it's all planned. Really, it's all planned that Biden gets installed? I don't know how that's part of the plan, you know? It's, look, it's mysterious, and I, yeah. I, can't, I can't say that I understand it all. What, I, what, I, what I'm trying to understand is the, is the meta picture. Yeah. And I think the meta picture is a designed one, yeah. and that is... That is chaos. That I is do confusion and chaos. Sure, and I do think know? they want to, you know, sink us into a, you know, kind of 1984 because essentially a war with China is essentially that war that's in 1984, which is like the eternal war, Absolutely. where it's being fought out in, you know, in, in, in areas like Taiwan or in parts of the Southeast Asia. It's possible. You know what I mean? Possible. Yeah. You think two sides are developing where they want to establish, and this could be well, part of the Well, I think the, the whole thing is a false binary, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, because, because China, Australia because, is, well, is, is sabre-rattling with, with... Of course, you know, this week. This week. This week. Okay, and, and, and you, you, your comparison is very valid to mm. 1984, mm. because as you know, if you've read 1984, mm. that it always changes. Yes. You know, it's, it, East Asia is a blow, Oceania, blah, blah, and then next week it swaps around and yeah. nobody remembers. Yeah. This happens every week. I've, I've kind of stopped paying much attention to the official narrative, mostly because it does change every week mm. and it's stupid and it's always stupid and it never makes any sense. Mm. So why the hell would I invest all this energy in following this ridiculous red herring as it flaps and flies so, around the place. But how the hell, I mean, you, know? you, are, you are subjected to the, uh, the, you've got to wear a fucking mask if you go up to the supermarket, right? Do you wear a mask? No. You don't, you don't wear a mask? No. 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 Like, have no. you been told? I, 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 I refuse yeah. um, because I'm not in favour of slavery. You okay? refuse me. I, yeah, I, I don't want slavery for me mm -hmm. and I don't want slavery for you mm -hmm. and I don't even want slavery for the people who wear that crap willingly. Yeah, I don't yeah. even want them to be slaves. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not. You don't biased. participate. Yeah. No, I'm, 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 I don't participate. Mm -hmm. The whole thing's a scam. It's yep. a fraud. It's an obvious a mm -hmm. uh, bit of chicanery, yep. and I'm not, I'm not buying into it. You so know? What, do they ask you to sign in and all that stuff? Because it started, because you saw that. That's the interesting thing, because we said something more draconian was going to happen, and we were prophetic, because this is the thing that when you go into a shop, I mean, I just went and had a look at a couple of shops in the area, or you go into like a bookshop or whatever, you've got to sign in. 
Of course. I, I think the most heinous part for me, but there are many heinous parts. It's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Well, you it's, didn't do that in Soviet Russia. It's unprecedented. You did not do that in Soviet That's Russia. That's an entirely valid point. Yeah. You know, um, right now, you need, and I keep pointing this out to people, and it, it keeps pissing them off, and I will keep pointing it out to people. Right now, here, in this supposed Western democracy, ha, 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 you need the government's permission to buy food. Really? Okay. Of course you do. What do you think a QR code is? Yeah. That's their permission. You have yeah. their permission. To, you are interacting with them. They're, you're yeah. giving them your private details yeah. so that you can buy food. Yeah. You, you need the government's permission right now yep. to buy food. Yep. If that isn't worse than the Soviet <laughs> Union, I don't know what the fuck is. It is. You know? yeah. I mean, uh, sure, we don't have gulags. Yes. 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 Okay, but you they're know, coming. Yeah. They're, yeah. You, you'd, you'd, you'd have to admit that the, yeah. the possibility is there that they are coming. They you are, know? indeed. Uh, you know, and they're doing this thing of, of, of demonising groups who don't want to participate and yep. whatever. All this, this whole narrative is built. Yeah. This is prefabricated, this narrative, yep. to divide. I think they've been working on this thing for decades. They they've, must they've, have, yeah. they've successfully divided out. I mean, our, our society now is so incredibly toothless. It is. Where's yeah. courage? Where's courage? I don't know. Gone. Well, it's I mean, been deliberately. Um, destroyed, I would argue. I've There's got to no admit, too, the anywhere. amount of people, you see big guys, you see guys who are like alpha male guys, like who are like in their 30s and 40s, who are like sportsmen, and, and they're sitting there f- f- and they're signing neutered. their names. They're, they're completely castrated. They are utterly castrated. Absolutely. Brother. This thing it's is deliberate. We've yeah. been driven to this point. This is how you build a slave society. It is, you, yeah. This yeah. is how you do it. This you is how you build a slave people. society. I mean, I, I, I talked to people... Just two years ago, would you believe, we were in Eastern Europe, in the Czech Republic and Poland and wherever, you know. I talked to so many people. I talked to dozens of people about this who were, who were almost desperate to talk mm. about what it was like to live under communism, yeah. you know. So the first thing they would say is they would, because, you know, they realise you're, you're, you know, from somewhere else, you're from Australia or wherever, and they, they, they would... I had so many people sort of grasp me in these countries mm. and, and go, you don't understand what a nightmare it was to live under communism. We do now. <laughs> Boom. And then they would tell me all these narratives that at the time were sort of historically fascinating. Yeah, yeah, and now they're really deeply distressing and chilling. Yeah. One of them, that one, of, one narrative that I got told regularly, uh, you know, there in, in these Eastern Bloc countries, these former Soviet Union countries, was that the rules and the regulations would change every week. Yeah. And they never made any sense. Yes. It was always stupid. That sounds familiar. Uh, it was always completely stupid. It didn't add up. It was obvious bullshit and it would flip flop and change every week. Yeah. D- designed to demoralize you, yes. disorientate you yes. and dislocate you. So, so you didn't know happening. where you stood. You didn't you couldn't organize yeah. anything because it's a it's a mess, yeah. you know. I took this photograph that um you know because I've been photographing some of the absurdity. It was a group of people I don't know, it was like a Chinese restaurant in the city. It was a reasonably popular one. It had a mm. line of about, say, 20 or 30 people. Everyone was wearing a mask to get in, to go inside a cramped space where they would take off their masks and eat. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make any fucking... What happened to the human brain? I don't know. Where has it gone? Does this not make... Does this mar- narrative make no sense None. to you? None. I mean, it's stupid. What? It is what? stupid. You're meant to be terrified of yeah. some incredibly intelligent virus yeah. that knows to leave you alone when you're sitting down. Yeah, exactly. But it's going to attack you when you stand yeah, up. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, it's patent nonsense. You can only do this operation to a society that has been broken. We live in a broken society. It's been yeah. deliberately broken, in of my course. view. Over the years, you know, you know through, through things like, you know... All of it. I identity mean, politics. Identity whole, politics, the exactly. The Mass immigration, thing. all this crap, look, you know. Look, it's come at us from... Every angle. hundred angles. Yeah. You know, to, to, to break society so that society is divided. Mm-hmm. There's no sort of um, real social contract between people no, anymore. Nothing, nothing. We're a broken society. And then yeah. all of a sudden... Along Boom. comes COVID. Well, what do you know? And this is how and, you, you know, build? I mean, another aspect, there's a hundred, a thousand aspects yep. of this thing, but also another aspect is you now, what do you know? You've got a society where people are addicted to their phones, oh, yeah. you right. know? So they're addicted to receiving the signal constantly, yep. you know, which, which well, totally puts them on the plantation. This is how you build a slave society. I think that's a good title for this, this video. And we'll come yeah. back with part two in a minute. And Unfortunately. We'll, 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 you know, uh, terrorise you with more uh, hard facts of what appears to be going on. Thank you.